Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. As frequent viewers will know, I have far too many old boats. Now, it's nice to have a whole bunch of extra kayaks because you can loan them out to friends who don't necessarily have their own boats. However, the downside is if people don't have their own boats, they often don't have their own way to transport a boat. And I can only fit about four of these kayaks on my car. So what happens if we have more than four people who want to go kayaking together? Well, today I'm going to attempt to modify my little flatbed trailer here into a kayak transporter trailer. Hopefully, I can put something like five or six kayaks on that, and then I can put two more on my roof, and we'll have uh, maximum flexibility with larger boat trips. So I'm already seeing a potential problem with this little trailer. With the longer kayaks, such as this double, they're going to stick way, way off the back. And uh, this trailer maybe just isn't quite right for this. Now I do have another boat trailer, which is currently back here underneath this skiff, which is covered with a tarp. That trailer is just as wide as the little one, but it's a couple feet longer. So it might add a little bit more stability going down the road with all these boats. Of course, if I want to get this trailer out, that means I have to move all this other junk out of the way. All right, I've got the trailer out of there, but there's still a boat on it, so I need to shuffle that back into the hole and then uh, clear it off the trailer. This polka dot skiff used to be my main boat, and I haven't even gotten it out this year because I've just been too busy with all these other boats, uh, surfboards and dumpster kayaks and tuggy, and then of course my uh, jet boat over there, which is currently slumbering under a tarp. And this uh, needs a little cleanup. I've had a tarp on it to try to keep some leaves out, but uh, that never quite works. And just generally spruce things up if I'm going to take this out again. I don't know if I'm going to get this boat out yet this year. If we do, we'll do a video of it, but uh, I've got so many other projects, I might just have to wait till next year for it. Definitely needs a paint touch-up. The uh, watermelon theme that I put on there is starting to flake off, and you can see the old camouflage that was underneath. This used to be a duck boat at some point before I got it. All right, so obviously this is set up for a V-hole skiff. So to put more than one kayak on it, I'm gonna have to take these bunks off, maybe put a crossbar up there that they can rest on, and then we'll build up kind of a tree that will hold multiple layers of kayaks up in the air. And then we'll strap everything on with uh, cargo straps and hope it doesn't tip over. I could just twist the bunks 90 degrees like that and put the kayaks on top of them, but I want to start down as low as I can for that first tier of boats, so those are going to come off. Alright, it's another day and we're back working on the kayak trailer. It rained a lot yesterday, so I had to give up on this. Back here now. Side note, people have commented on my flaky use of safety equipment. Yes, I know I wear sandals a lot. I do try to wear eye protection, ear protection when necessary, gloves, etc. And of course, we have the classy OSHA-approved safety shirt, which adds a touch of safety to any project. This shirt is not actually sponsored or approved by OSHA. This shirt is not a safety device and should not be worn in place of real safety equipment. OSHA shirt should not be worn while under the influence of drugs or alcohol. You can get this from my store if you look down below or go on my Teespring site. And um, yeah, it's a great way to support the channel and it's a fun shirt. So I picked up some of these square U-bolts. I'm going to use those to attach the wood kayak rack onto the trailer because I don't really want this to be a permanent part of the trailer. I want to take it off, put those bunks back on to use this for real boats. And uh, when I need to transport up to six kayaks, then I'll be able to just bolt this on more easily. Now you might think this is kind of a flaky way to assemble a trailer, but this is a Harbor Freight trailer, so the rest of it's just held together with U-bolts anyway. This is designed to last about five minutes and then completely disintegrate. So by adding all this stuff, we're going to make it last about ten minutes. Okay, so the kayak rack is essentially done, or at least structurally done, and it does fit my uh, widest and one of my longest kayaks, so that's good. 
and then I can get five more on here. It looks pretty straight from some directions. Um, other directions, well, I mean, I did use scrap wood, so there's some wibble wobble to it, but um, it should hold together just fine. And then once the kayaks are on there, everything will be strapped down with these ratchet straps. And so the kayaks will actually be attached to the metal frame of the trailer with the ratchets, with the uh, wood tree structure just holding everything in place. So between this thing holding six kayaks, then my car rack holding two, I can actually uh, transport all eight of our kayaks around. So that's pretty cool. This is the first time we've been able to move all eight kayaks in one trip. I guess that means we're going to have to buy or dumpster dive more kayaks. All right, so there's how you move eight kayaks with one vehicle. They all just uh, rack on here. We've got the sea kayaks up on the roof. And then once these are all ratchet strapped down, we'll be ready to hit the road. And again, I'm not taking this contraption on a freeway. Um, a, because it's a bit unwieldy and I'd be uncomfortable with it, and B, most of my kayaks have uh, ropes and other things kind of loosely attached that would... They'll stay on there at uh, 40 to 50 miles an hour, but uh, anything above that and these ropes start to flap around. So it's more convenient just to take back roads for uh, nearby kayaking trips. Alrighty, we finally have a way to get all of our kayaks out and on the water. So we're not quite a rental agency yet because we're just uh, loaning these out to friends. And I'm not really interested in running a business, but uh, it is fun to get a bunch of your friends out on the water at the same time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, check out some of my other videos for repairing old kayaks and uh, building kayaks and other things and other ridiculous boat projects. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.